Hey everyone, Shannon here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to slow down and speed up your footage. It is so easy, but it's not that intuitive. So if I went into my effects panel and I search for slow motion, I get nothing. Even if I searched for time lapse, I get nothing. All right, so how do I find this effect? Uh, it's really easy. So I've already imported two pieces of footage. One I'm going to use for my time lapse uh, example, and one I'm going to use for my slow motion example. And these were found on Pexels.com. Pexels has a ton of great stock footage. It doesn't look like stock footage that you're used to seeing. It's really high quality, really modern. Love it. That's what I'm using as my example here. Let's start off with this first clip here of my time-lapse footage. We're going to speed this up, make sure it's selected, it's highlighted in white. Right-click, Speed and Duration. It's going to bring up this pane, allowing you to change the speed, the duration, and bonus, you could even reverse the speed so you can play your clips in reverse. What? Okay, pretty awesome. I'll show that as well. Uh, so now you can play with these settings as much as you like. If I sped up this time-lapse footage to, let's say, 500%, and you could see it totally shortened the time of the clip. If I hit play, and you'll see it's a time-lapse. Uh, looks pretty cool. Maybe it's not as fast as I want it, so really awesome. I could go back, change the percentage. Again, this is non-linear, non-destructive editing, so you're not ruining anything. Really, really awesome shortcut if I hit Control R, Command R on a Mac. It brings up the speed duration panel for me again. Just make sure the clip is selected. You don't have to right click. It saves a little bit of time, maybe like a microsecond, um, but it does help if you're doing this a lot. Maybe I'm going to change this up to a thousand. Let's play that. Cool, looks like a time lapse. Awesome. Moving on to the slow mo footage. And we're going to do the same exact thing, but instead of increasing the percentage, we're going to decrease the percentage. Uh, it's not hard at all. The quality of your slow mo footage depends heavily on your frame rate, frames per second. So if you're shooting with a camera, that has 60 frames per second, you'll get some really nice quality slow motion footage. So GoPros are actually one of the best cameras that I've worked with for slow motion. So if you're into shooting anything action-y and you want to slow it down, speed it up, uh, GoPros are affordable and a good start. By the way, they did not sponsor this video. I'm just giving them a shout out because I really like their cameras. <laughs> uh, maybe they'll sponsor me. I don't know. Maybe you guys can get them to sponsor me. That'd be cool. I could make more tutorials for you guys. <laughs> All right, uh, back to this. I don't know why my thing keeps popping up down there. Uh, I'll put them at 40. So now I'll show you guys quickly the reverse effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this through and I'm gonna cut it at a point where I think it could be cool in reverse. So we're cool here, I'll cut it there. Um, maybe at this point I want them to like come back down, maybe come back down to like there. Okay. Move that end piece up since we cut it. And we're going to duplicate this cut that we made. So with a simple control C, control V, and command on a Mac. And we're going to do that one more time. Uh, so we're duplicating twice because what's going to happen is we want him to jump we want him to reverse on the second one and we want him to jump back on the third one on this middle piece the second clip within these three i'm going to put the reverse effect okay and if i play it through we get a jump we get that reverse awesome if you like this video, be sure to like or comment. Let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. So, thanks for watching.